Some couples are scrambling to find a new place to have their wedding after a Charlotte venue suddenly closed. People have been reaching out to us about Noah's since it closed on Friday. So Action 9 investigator Jason Stujanki started investigating and he's standing by to explain what customers need to know about this venue. Yeah, we'll just take a look. The doors right here, they're all locked. And there's this notice right here. It talks about bankruptcy. It says the parent corporation does not own this building. So obviously it's been leasing or renting and it moved out, vacated the facility Sunday evening. Ramona Colbreth's daughter Tia is getting married in May. She was crying. She was like, Mama, they closed, they closed. I was like, who? Noah's. Colbert told me they put down $1,400 and have been paying almost $600 every month since. Today would have been the last payment they were going to try to take out. How much money are you guys out? Um, almost $8,000. She says they even spent hundreds on invitations and were getting responses back. Did you see it coming? No, not at all. Multiple customers spoke to us and not just about weddings. We had no idea. Michael Cruz says he booked Noah's for next week for his daughter's quinceanera. He says they invited hundreds from all over and paid more than $7,000. She's freaking out right now. Noah's parent company filed bankruptcy last year, Chapter 11, reorganization. It could keep doing business and try to get back on track financially. But published reports say it switched to Chapter 7, so it had to close, sell assets, and try to pay creditors. Unfortunately, customers are low on that list. A lot of times, by the time it gets to them, no money's left. In the meantime, other venues are offering to help Noah's customers, like City Church Huntersville. How much can you work with these folks financially? We are willing to offer our sanctuary complimentary and work out a few things financially for spaces for their reception if they would like to host that here as well. And Colbreth found another venue willing to help. He went all out for us. Now a few more thoughts. If you use the credit card, go ahead and dispute the charge. Otherwise, go ahead and file a claim with the bankruptcy court. That way you're on the list should there be enough money to go around. Guys, 